Hello, what are you teaching us today? Uh, so we're going to be chopping some Athana Capence, or a lot of people know it as Ruby Necklace. So these guys, to be honest, they're kind of like a weed, they grow that quick. Uh, pretty much growing season all year round for them, they, they're hardy, they can tolerate some you know, a bit more sunlight, they can also tolerate frost as well, so I absolutely love this plant. So, we're going to be, look at this, just a real ripper, this one. So this one's been outside, uh, you can see it's nice and lush and green, it's copped a lot of rain recently, and this one's been in one of our greenhouses, uh, hasn't had as much water, and you can see it's going real, like it looks stressed, so it's got a beautiful purple colour in it, so amazing the difference between stressing them and giving them a lot of love, or natural love from the rain, <laughs> what they can do, so. And these guys strike really quickly as well, so these cuttings here I've only taken oh, probably just over a week ago, and if I pull one out, like you can already start seeing roots right there, so they grow very quickly. Good time to do them now. So all I'm gonna do is kind of just <laughs> give them a haircut, really. I'll go crazy, I didn't take a cover photo. All right, all right. okay, cut, doesn't matter. So I'll just take a, a little bit from the from the behind. So we're just going to cut just like that. Give we're going to cut off all the flowers because we don't want our cuttings to focus putting energy into the flowering. We want them to focus on roots. So some that you take cuttings off will actually grow, will have some roots already, which is a bonus. And yeah, I'm just going to put them in some, just some mix, just like, well, that sort of size. So that would just go, you can use your finger, and just put it in like that. And yeah, these guys, if they don't have any roots yet, they grow pretty quick within about a week. So that sort of size, what's that, about seven centimeters up to 10. We just put them in there. Sometimes I'll double them up. I'll put two cuttings per, uh, per pot or in the cell trays as well. So. so what do you do to make it nice and bushy? Is that just keep tip pruning it? Yep, or? just keep tip pruning it. And yeah, we've pruned, we've got a lot of stock off this in the past so it'll just turn into that once you keep tip pruning it uh, that's how you get them nice and thick um, if you want to get them nice and thick when they're really young like this just put more cuttings in there so you can put like five cuttings in there and you'll get that th thickness effect a lot sooner than if you just put one plant in there and then slowly tip prune that so yeah that's all it is really with these guys um, they're, they're yeah they're pretty tough they're a great hanging plant you can almost have them anywhere, probably not uh, inside so much because they do tend to like a bit more light. Um, otherwise they will stretch. Um, as opposed to, you know, the leaves being nice and, and close close together. So they'll become more, sep more separated if you've got them in too much shade. So yeah, hopefully you found that helpful. Um, if you've got them at home at the moment and you're wondering well, just what to do in the garden, give you Ruby necklace, a good trim. They're very fast growing. Uh, the flowers look stunning at the moment. Uh, a lot of people, you know, when we're at mar when we've been at the markets in the past, they really love looking at the flowers when we've had them for available for sale. So, yeah, just a beautiful plant. Probably one of my favourite hanging plants at the moment. So, yeah, hopefully you found that helpful. Like and subscribe again to our channel. And yeah, any other questions, please uh, shoot them through, and we'll get get uh, through to them as, as quickly as I can, or as soon as possible. Have a great week. See you.